Hey everyone, Chance from Aquascape here. Uh, what we have here is Cryptochorine Pontardifolia Red Lips. I'm going to split this up. One plant will be going on a very long journey somewhere. Um, the other will be going in here, and then I'll be leaving one in here too. So let me go ahead and set this up. got like a very small tripod I'm working with here. All right, that'll work. So, this is a very cool crib. Supposedly it's a Highlands crib, but that's been debated. Um, by a few people, so I'm going to admit a lot of facts that I assume I know about this plant because a lot of things are up in the air right now with it. But it's a cool plant nevertheless, a uh, very nice color, I have really crappy lighting in here so it's hard for me to show you the color, um, but it is a nice color. <laughs> Submerged, it does, uh, does keep a nice color too if you blast it with light. Uh, immersed, it can get an even more beautiful color than this if you hit it even harder with light. Um, this was just growing under some simple LED grow lights, cheapo Amazon special ones, um, but you can get some good old Hortelux or whatever and blast them and they'll get like the coolest color red you've ever seen. Um, I think I have a picture of one that I grew like that somewhere. But anyway, we are going to separate these off and as you can see they grow off of uh, it's called a stolum but a st grows basically it's the single root like structure rhizome like structure even that grows underground uh, it's subterraneous if it were above ground it would be called a rhizome um, and the crypts grow up off of it basically. As that grows horizontal in the dirt, the crypts will grow up off of it. And it sends, you can see it's starting to send another little runner that way. And this looks like it's going to be one too. So yeah, that's how it propagates. It also will flower and if pollinated it'll create seed pods and the seeds will disperse when the seed Pods fall on the ground and it'll grow clusters like that. So to separate them, basically um, you want to use a razor blade uh, to be precise or you can use a pair of snips. I don't have any of that by me right now. Um, I've pulled a lot of these apart before. So I just gently tug and pull. So there's one, and then this little one here is going to be a little tricky. So I kind of, for the smaller ones when I'm using my hands and not a blade or a scissor, I will just kind of push the plant down and see where its own little individual roots are. It's hard to show you, but uh, if you do that, you'll see it. If you find any cluster, you can practice on a Wendetti eye. Uh, but Push it down slowly and you'll start to see that the roots peel away real easily. If you, if I would have tugged and pulled, there's a chance that I could have pulled the leaves off, but if you slowly just slide your finger down along the side of the petole of the main plant and just push down slowly, it'll just come right off, like simple. But if I tug and pull up, it's going to be bad. So that's that. They're separated out. Um, I don't do much trimming to the roots unless I see like necrotic root growth or anything, but these roots look all right. Uh, again, the lighting's not so great, but <laughs> um, they look fine. I will uncluster the soil from it a little bit there. Um, I'm not even going to bother amending the soil. It's really not that old, so I'm just going to kind of give it a little stir. Mix it up a bit, grab the root by the bottom, and I'm going to kind of start tucking this in here a little bit. Now, a lot of people 
we'll trim their roots up and stuff like that. Um, again, I don't, uh, just on plants I'm replanting. It's just more energy that the plant has to use to regrow something that it has, that it could use to, you know, continue growing. What I will do uh, before I put it back in its place a um, little bit later, I will trim off any, any leaves that are growing down, like this guy and this guy here. Um, if they're not, you know, kind of growing up with a little bit of a curve to them, I'll trim them off. Basically those leaves are on their way out and they can go, no big deal. So I'm gonna set this aside now. I have this one. This cool little container here. And this will be the one that is going very far away. It's small, so it's easier to easier to ship. But I will. This is just regular water. I usually let plants that are going on long journeys hydrate for a while before I ship them. As I ship them dry and no bag, uh, in no paper towel or anything. Uh, and they can last up to, I've had some stuff go up to two weeks before it's been properly received. So same deal with this one. Uh, roots look really good. Let's pull some of the excess aqua soil off. And that is all the substrate is that I'm using right here is just aqua soil, just to be clear. And I'll just start tucking it down in there. I'll give it a few pats there. And I'll come back and top this other one off here with some more aqua soil and then both will get the healthy, uh, you know, like, Probably 10 balls of Osmocote added to them as well. And this is just regular RODI water that I remineralized with calcium and magnesium. Standard. I do a two to one ratio, but. There you go. Like I said, need to trim those leaves. This one's much nicer. <laughs> And I let them grow again for, I don't know, another two months, month, and then split them out again, and again, and again, and again. And I have a whole tray of these, just to show you guys what they look like when they're in farm mode. That's the same exact crib. All of those, you can see the leaves coming in a different color. Actually, really pretty over there. Let's see if I can get that. Doo -doo 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 -doo. So yeah, same crip as what we were just playing with in the video, just growing a bit differently. Plants are awesome. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this propagation video of Cryptocorium Pontrifolia red lips. Please go ahead, like, subscribe, and share this video. Uh, my goal is to get us to a thousand subscribers, and then I'll start doing live streams from the nursery and share all the rare aeroids and stuff like that. We'll even do some live auctions. We'll do some live giveaways, all sorts of stuff. It's just easier to communicate with the community in a live format than it is through video, especially for things like that. 
but I will continue to uh, pump out some more informational videos as well as how-tos and how I do things and some more vlog style stuff about the other uh, ecology things. I'm actually on my way to Washington DC, Virginia uh, to do a talk for Guapa. Uh, they are an aquatic plant club over there and then I will be collecting also in the Virginia area some native aquatics and probably find some invasive aquatics but I'll take some video of that and share it with you guys too. Alright guys, I hope you had a wonderful weekend and I hope you have a great month. Bye.